Aubrey. Hey, Plushie. What's going on, guys? And hello, anybody else who hasn't said hello yet in chat? What's going on, everybody? So I just remembered um, that, you know, in order for... Uh... Let's get some music going first. Let's... Let's start with that. Let's one thing at a time. Let's get some get some tunes. Uh, I also just remembered I didn't actually start. Flugly, what's up? I didn't actually start the raffle, so probably do that. <laughs> Let's do that. Followers only. Close. There go. Yeah, so today's the first of the month, so I got a free raffle for you guys. Um, I finished Fev's mission at the last second. So, type to- thanks, Axel Bottle, you're the best. Uh, type exclamation point and join. I fucking- Wait. Axel Bottle, what the fuck? <laughs> Axel Bottle, why? <laughs> There we go. Now he's good. There we go. <laughs> we have the technology. He's trying his best. There you guys go. You're on the list. Um, Axel Bottle will not tell you that you have been entered, but just trust me that you are entered. And I'll do a I'll do a call at the end, um, just to make sure you guys you know let you guys double check all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so we're here. Uh, I tried to fiddle with um, Nuggets Commission, but um, I hate it. I don't know what's bothering me so much about this piece. I, something about this arm is is really... I don't know. I can't figure it out. Something it just does not look right. The hand's pretty good, actually. I might keep the hand, but the arm's really pissing. So, we're here. Hi, you guys! Oh, how's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. Sort of. Happiest of Tuesday can be, I suppose. Ha 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 So funny. I don't know, like, something about the way this arm looks, looks really derpy. I, is that music too loud, by the way? It's kind of loud for me. Actually, it looks like it might be a little quiet for you guys. Oh my god. Forearm needs to be in front. Hang on. I think the forearm needs to be in front of the upper arm a bit due to the angle, but you were trying to make it a perfect angle. Uh, it is. In, oh, at least on that one, it's in front. This one. Like it still would go in front. His, their wrists are weird, too, because the Jahordi have weird... Uh, they have, like, thin wrists. Or thick wrists, rather. More like a, uh... More like a Veos than a human, but... You know, like, that kind of, like, too... Kind of stumpy... Thing. Um... Uh, does that look okay? Like, keep the arm exactly where it is, and then just... Yeah, I was fiddling with it during my lunch break at work last week, and I just could not get it. it looks great in my head. You know? You know how that is? It looks awesome in your head, then you actually go to do it, and it's like, what? I think I need to elongate the forearm, maybe just a smidge.
Not to make the really stupid comment of, this sounds like it's from Minecraft. My roommate came home with a new cat and I'm afraid I'm going to have to convince her to take it back to the shelter because it won't stop spraying everywhere and we live in a rental. Don't. Doesn't. Wait. <laughs> oh, thanks for the- thanks for the bits, Wiggly. Um... The cat was neutered a few days ago. It was already a year and a half old. I didn't think cats, um, sprayed if they were neutered. Do they not? Or do they? I- I don't really remember. I've only ever had female cats, so I don't know much about male cats, but... I thought- I thought they stopped spraying after they were fixed. You definitely want to stop that, though, because I'll tell you what, the two things in life that you never want to deal with is cat pee and literally anything else that comes out of their body. Oh, excellent. So basically that cat's life is ruined. That's kind of got a sporty arm look to it. My male cats don't spray, but if you wait too long, it becomes a learned behavior. Oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Alright, let's continue with the chaos, I guess. Oh, I hate their fucking wrists. I'm gonna stick with a thin wrist in it. If Nugget doesn't like it, we'll fix it. <laughs> that, uh, that thick wrist is, is hard. So cutest, what's up? I don't know why I did the hand and the, the one line on the back of the hand and then went to the bottom. Herp derp. The worst game of bullet hell in World of Warships. I don't know what that is, but it, that sounds like just a great time. <laughs> I get to go through the fun experience of taking my car back to the dealership, or back to the uh, mechanics again tomorrow. And I'm really not excited about that. I was really hoping that I could actually, like, you know, take a break from commissions maybe for the next, like, week, you know? Like, I was hoping I could get these done, and then I could, like, just take, like, a day to, like, not take commissions. Nope. Because <laughs> this whole paycheck's going right into my rent, so I don't have any money to pay for car repairs, and that's exciting. Keep... Keep an eye out, friends. The next couple of days, I'll probably open commissions again because uh, that needs to that needs to end, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a World War II naval action sim, more on the action side with a tiny bit of sim. Gotcha. That makes sense. Sometimes you guys talk about games, and I'm like, that sounds like a time. So many torpedoes. Yes. <laughs> All the time.
Oh no. Keeping count. I don't want to work on him anymore. Let's let's work on Valkyrie. I don't want to work on. I don't want to work on Lazel. 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 I think. It's, I don't want to work on him. However you pronounce his name, I don't want to work on him. Let's let's work on Valkyrie. I got a friend of mine to draw me a proper map for a D and D campaign. I DM. That's awesome. I got a take a look at my map again and make sure that it's everything I want it to be. I always worry my map doesn't make enough sense. I worry that about everything in my world, though. I always worry that stuff doesn't make enough sense and that there's going to be a plot hole. Yeah, I figured you meant like a overworld, like, map, map. It's stop sign. What's going on, friend? How how you do? Yeah, you haven't been here in a little while. What's going on? How you been? It's a proper flags now. Uh that's that's actually kind of a fun part. Somebody shared a thing about flags in um uh, I think it was Trixel actually shared a thing about flags in the art share a couple uh, couple months ago. You should you should check out the um, you should check out the art resources tab and see if you can find it. It's it's in there somewhere. It was a pretty interesting little video about like the construction of um, flags and how like modern flags are made. It was pretty cool. Like you know like the reasoning behind certain colors or certain shapes or what you're allowed and uh, allowed to and not allowed to do it might be informative. For anybody who's just joining, uh, today is the first of the month, so it is time for a raffle. So anybody who's in uh, and is following the Axie stack, you can type exclamation point join, uh, and you'll be eligible for a free sketch commission. Um, sketch commissions have gotten a little weird because it's actually not that hard for me to just chuck a little bit of color on them. So it's more like, um, oh, I didn't bring it home. Uh, it's, will it work? Um, more like kind of a, instead of just, instead of line art, it's more like, like a, uh, kind of like a refined sketch with a little bit of color thrown on it, so that's what you guys are getting. Uh, I have to redo uh, Tested at some point because his was the old model, and I promised him I would update it since he was only like I was only like three into the raffle system thing. So I'll do that. Anyways, did you see me post that, or did I just did I just time it? Oh, you must have just timed it. And uh, also, word of warning, um, Axobottle is not smart enough to tell you guys when uh, you've joined, so just trust that Axobottle's got your vote in if you typed it correctly, and I will, I'll do a roll call at the end just to make, you know, let you guys, if you're afraid you didn't get in, you can always type it again, and then Axobottle will yell, uh, trying to enter twice, so. Because it should be limit one per person, because we don't have it anymore, so. A bus with no color, yep. Uh, no, it's actually, no, it's a bust with color now. Uh, let me find, um, I did it because, um, I did it because, uh, I changed it because Jace's one, no, was it, yeah, it was Jace's Um, hang on, let me, let me pull it off my Discord. Um, I did it because Jace's was, like, so low color that I might as well have just done it in color, and I realized I spend just as much time putting flat tones on stuff as I do, um, um, I spend, I spend just as much time throwing, like, base tones on it as I do coloring it, so I decided just to throw some color on it for you guys. Um, it doesn't take me, like, any extra time to do color, so I might as well throw a color, but, uh, this is what I did for Fev today, and that's a really low-resolution version of it, and I'm not sure why that happened. Um, but this is, this was, uh, Fev won the, 
Bev won the raffle last time, so this is her, uh... There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, so I just chucked some flat color on it. What I was doing, and I did it for, I did it for Tested, too, and I'd have to go look for that one, but a Apple Gravy's commission was, um, I did it in just, like, a sketch, and I, like, shaded it like I would shade a, an actual sketch, and I didn't like the way it came out, really, and it took me so long to do the shading that I decided I'd just go for flat color on everything. So this is, this is, um, this is Feather Feb's, uh, commission prize from the last raffle so what you guys will get is something like this whoever wins tonight will get something like this just basic flat color and just kind of like sketchy line art it's not going to be anything like extreme um so that's that's what you guys can look out for uh, whoever wins tonight's going to get some lines so You won't get a full commission with nice clean line art and shading and all that. I can certainly upgrade it to that if you grab a commission slot. I'll, like, factor in, like, I'll take off a discount for it. That I haven't had happen yet. I haven't really had anybody win a raffle and then be like, hey, can you maybe make this into an actual piece of art? <laughs> Axel Bottle's grammar is beautiful. Look at him. A raffle is still open. I figured also since I only take one of those a month, I can something else. You know? The whole deal with the raffle sketches, it it's ideally takes me under an hour to do. Because I ain't got time for that. As much as I want to have time for that, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you know? English Axel Bottle. It's not even that his grammar is wrong. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> Like, a raffle is still opened is probably correct. It just makes me laugh. It just sounds funny. Like, I would say the raffle is still open, but he says a raffle. I don't know. So toy. the line in there we go both should be open should be open ah yes he's got the he's got the grammar mixed up you're correct a raffle has opened would be fine gotcha he's yeah he's got his tenses and grammar mixed up ah uh, axel bottle you right <laughs> he did. He knows. Axel Bottle knows what's up. He is very good at smiling. He understands. Hey, pretty, what's going on? Welcome to the chat. We're working on some art. I'm uh, working on this for uh, Circling Nugget, who does not appear to be here right now, but uh, I gotta get the line art done, so... That's what we're working on. Uh, and then I should get this done pretty probably by nine o'clock, so we'll probably work on somebody else's something. I might do curros just to get it out of the way, um, since the busts don't take me very long. So I think we might do uh, curros next and just uh, get, get that done. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on. Exabuttle is mocking you. Uh, pretty, if you're interested in getting any art for yourself, I'm having a raffle tonight. Uh, so you have to type exclamation point join, and uh, you'll be entered into the raffle at the end of the night. I'll pick uh, pick one winner to get a um, flat color, sketchy kind of style. Uh, it's just a bust shot. Nothing crazy, just a portrait. But if that's something you're interested in, there you go. And you're in. I usually try to do this at the beginning of the month. It might not always be on the first of the month, but um, I try to do raffles like one at least one time a month for you guys. Um, maybe someday I'll get to do more than one. Maybe I'll do bi-weeklies, but I gotta get my schedule in order. 
I'm busy all the time and I don't get my commissions done anymore. Actually, you know, I'd probably switch it to being more than once a month if I ever be if this if this be ever became a full time job for me. I also just jumbled all my words there, and I'm not sure why that happened. Yeah, if I ever started doing Twitch full time for some crazy reason, I would probably switch the raffles to being more. Then I would have more time to do mission streams. So, but that's probably never. Words are hard. Words are hard, my friend. They are the worst. Words are also hard when you haven't had any drinks. <laughs> I have to buy more Sprite. Because I have an entire bottle of uh, mango rum, but I don't have any Sprite to make. Because I don't like rum by itself, but rum mixed in Sprite. Mm. And it makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Sometimes that's what you need after a long, hard day at work. You just need to come home and feel warm and fuzzy. Axel Bottle does struggle so hard. He, he does his best. The raffle is still open. Yes. The boy. Doing his best at his grammar. So, I'm looking forward to not having to go to work tomorrow morning. <laughs> and being able to work from home. But I'm really not looking forward to... The, to or the, um... Kind of not looking forward to that. That's gonna be... A plus. Not a good time. <laughs> Zero out of ten would not take my car to the mechanic again. There's the nugget. Get them. Um, so this is as far as I got. <laughs> um, I'm still kind of mad about his arm. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know why it's bothering me so much, but, um, it's here. So, there we go. Um, I'm gonna work on her wings, and I'm just gonna finish Valkyrie, because I'm pretty happy with how she looks right now, so. How's it going? How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody's, how's everybody's Tuesday? Hopefully your Tuesday was as good as mine started. And not the way my my Tuesday is ending. Well, I didn't even say ending. This is good. This is a good end to my day. Drive home was not fun, though. Yeah, so here, let me tell you the story about my drive home. So I got home and, uh, you know, I went to the car wash because my car is absolutely fallen again. And uh, I'm sitting in the little, like, it's it's one of those ones where you just pull in and it just kind of rinses your car off. Like, it's not like a brush wash or anything. It's not like a conveyor belt kind. It's just one of the ones where you pull in, it does its thing, and then you drive out. Um, but I was at the car wash and I'm sitting there in my car doing my thing, minding my own business. And all of a sudden, my uh, battery light comes on on my dashboard and I'm like, um... Excuse me. I just got a new battery. What do you what do you mean the battery? <laughs> so, um I uh you know, pull, go to pull out of the thing once it, and then the light goes out and I'm like, oh that's what, okay, that was fucking weird. Let's not ever do that again. Um and as I'm pulling out of the car wash, my car makes this awful screeching noise and just stalls for like a hot second. <laughs> and the battery light came back on and I was like, um, excuse me, Douglas, what the fuck? So I pull over, you know, as best I can with the car freaking out and not really wanting to drive. And the light goes out and I just stopped the car and I called my dad and I was like, what? What even? Please. <laughs> Explain. And he's pretty sure it's my air compressor. He thinks that the air compressor, when the air conditioner kicks on, that it, um, like, fucks my battery, which causes my car to stall. <laughs> um... My car was Douglas. Yes, Douglas was my car. Sorry. His, yeah, his, his, name is, his name is Douglas. My dad thinks it has something to do with the air compressor, which the air compressor was already on the fritz anyway. So, um, I'll take it to the thing tomorrow and get that fixed. Yeah, air compressor issue is going to be suck. Oh, sorry to look cutest. I forgot that you have, um, I forgot that you are car friend. 
Yes, uh, he thinks that that's what that is. Either, regardless of what happens tomorrow, whether or not I decide to pay for the air compressor, if that happens to be the issue and the reason why my car is stalling, uh, or whatever the fuck it was doing, um, I'm definitely getting the camshaft sensor repaired. Because uh, that check engine light's been on for like a week now, and I know that that's what it is. I just haven't had time to go get it fixed. So tomorrow, no matter what happens, I'm getting that repaired, and that's going to suck. But that, Emily's... <laughs> your car is Stu. Aw, oh, Stu's a good name. Sexy is a TARDIS. That's awesome. Short for Disco Stew? Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> I love that. My car is blue, in name, but not in color. <laughs> that's excellent. I was kind of thinking about what kind of car I'd want to get if I have to get rid of my Beetle, but I just- I don't know, I can't picture myself driving anything with the Beetle, so... Like, I don't even know what kind of car I would get. <laughs> Hopefully this whole thing is just some sort of giant misunderstanding and my car is not about to implode on itself and I can just keep the car for another year. It happens when you get an old man that's worked on cars for a few decades and my mother who not only worked on cars but used to work on planes too. That's really cool. Yep, that's what happened. Now I'm glad you're car friend. You actually understand what I'm talking about and you can check me on my bullshit when I say something and have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that I don't sound like an idiot on the internet. <laughs> I'm just not excited because tomorrow I'm going to... Oh. But on the other hand, at least I will have a definitive answer on whether or not this is getting fixed. Because, like, it's just been one of those things that, like, for weeks now, I've just been knowing that there's three things in my car that are going to go. The camshaft positioning sensor is definitely on the way out. The catalytic converter was sent out an error code, like, one time, and I don't know if that's still good. I have, like, I, have, I literally have no idea if that's even going to be a problem. And then three is the, the air compressor. And the air compressor's been a problem since I bought it. When we when we bought it, the air compressor was giving me trouble, and I knew that that was going to be an issue later down the line, and it's proving... That is proving to be true. <laughs> so, those are the three... The, the big three, and they are all attempting to collapse in on themselves at one time, I think. So, that's fun. alternator pretty much exploded oh my god that's terrifying yeah Gabrielle, are you okay ships are female cars can be whatever they want i feel like my mom would be questioning your car names because she insists that cars and boats need to be female Yeah, I, I, if I had a boat, I would not that I would ever have a boat. But if I had a boat, I would probably give it a female name. But we, when I went to pick up my, the st <laughs> literally the story behind my car's name, right? So um, I went to, we went to pick it up. Like I, we went and looked at the car at this dealership and the the German guy who ran the car dealership. Um, I still have the flower he got me for inside my car, and um, it was a little plastic yellow flower. And he was like, "You need to have a flower for inside." In his German accent, that I can't do a German accent, but he was like, "You have to." He just insisted that I have to have a flower in the cup holder of a Volkswagen Beetle. He was so excited that I was gonna buy this Volkswagen Beetle. He just loved that car and was so happy that someone was gonna take it. And um, but as we, my, my sister was gonna drive it home because at the time we bought it, I didn't have my, I didn't have my driver's license. So um, my sister was gonna drive it home for me, and I rode with her in the car. And she, but as we walked up to the car, she looked at it and said, "That car looks like a Douglas." Okay. Now he's a Douglas. Any name can be a female name if you win hard to leave hard enough. You're not wrong. So, that's um. Yeah, that's my car. That's how my car got his name. Literally, my sister looked at my car and said, that should be your car's name. And I was like, okay. I gotta think of more fun car names, though, just in case I do have to get another car. There's a couple cars I was, like, looking at just to see if I would even like to have a car like that. And I just... I don't want to lose the boy just yet. The good green boy. He has a lot of miles on him, but he has done his best. He's still doing his best. He's he's doing all he can. Pun names are the best names. They are. Pun names are pretty good. Tom Shanks. Oh, it's beautiful. My cat's name is Shay because at the shelter and I didn't want to change it. 
It seemed like too much of a hassle to change her name. I don't know. Because then you have to, like, teach them their new name. And she knows her name is Shay. She's five, so. On account if he's missing a leg. Oh. Party Prius? Yes. My sister's first car was a uh, Honda Civic, and it was named, uh, we, he was Chester the Party Wagon. <laughs> and I, ever since she named it that, I just pictured Chester being this old, like, old man wearing shutter shades. Gotta keep her canvas and making you guys dizzy. I hope you enjoy. Like, if I were to personify our cars as people, that's what her car would be. <laughs> Mine's the old man with the cane that can barely walk, and hers is the, um, the old man with the party shades. He looks a little beaten, beaten up and run down, but he is doing his best. He's doing the most. My truck, we actually drove quite a distance to get. Oh my god, you did drive a while for that. Yeah, do it. Yeah, share a picture of Thomas. I want to see him. You guys are always allowed to share pictures of your pets. Oh my god. And also, Axobottle won't murder you for posting a link in chat, so. <laughs> I love Fev, but her, her, her bot murders me every time I try to post a link. <laughs> Her bot's, like, at a constant state of no. <laughs> they always get all my messages purged, and I got I got uh, banned from the chat ones. The bot banned me for posting to- <laughs> trying to post a link. It was really funny, actually. They felt really bad about it, but I was like, I don't even care. <laughs> it was wonderful. Yeah, tell me about your truck, dude. Oh, your kitty is beautiful! Oh, look how peaceful he is. Oh, baby. I know you literally just told me he's missing a leg, but I was still looking for his other leg going, where is his fourth leg? Obviously it's gone, because he doesn't have it. Oh, he's such a precious little boy. None of my pets have punny names. My pets all have, like, reference names. Except for Shay. Shay's not a reference. Shay okay, just... That's the name Shay. The Clownfisher, Cosmo, and Wanda, after the Fairly Odd Parents. And my cleaner shrimp's name is a strange amalgamation of many other names. Um, or the original cleaner shrimp I had was Bus, who I named after the Dunsparce that um, Mr. Talent had in his shady lock, or his um, rival lock with Shady Penguin. Um, and then Bus died, and then I thought, well, what's another yellow car? Hmm, a taxi. So now my cleaner shrimp taxi. None of my other saltwater fish have uh, names. I haven't. I haven't really thought of any fun names for the, uh, for the uh, barnacle barnacle blennies. They don't have names yet. Neither do my neon gobies. They're still alive. I'm impressed. They're doing their best. And of course, St Steve, the one and only. Can't go wrong with a good old Steve. I swear to god, if I ever got another axolotl and, like, put it in the tank with him and they got along, I'd name it. We got a Okay, I saw it online. We decided we should go check it out. It was a decent value, so we're like, sure. So we get down, look at it. It looks in great condition. No leaks. Engine is clean. We get a hold of a salesperson. He opens it up and tells us some interesting facts. First, that the speedometer was broken. And I do mean broken. Like, we were going 10 to 15 miles per hour, but it said we were going 80. And the check engine light was on. Beautiful. That's excellent. Definitely gives you good peace of mind. I'm guessing there's a third thing, so I'm going to wait and... About the third thing, because talk of names, we maybe realize that Slash is a kind of gen is kind of gender neutral. That's fine. The thing about the Veos names is that I never like I couldn't decide how I wanted to differentiate between male and female Veos because there's not like a cultural reason for there to be a differentiation. It's not like it's not like their culture believes females are not as strong for some reason. Um, they don't have that ingrained in their society, so they never really had a split of male versus female. So, um, and they don't really look, I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to make them look different, and in the end I decided not to, because so many beast races in fantasy, you get, like, an orc that's all big and muscly and has big teeth, but then the female is so tiny and demure and has little tiny teeth. 
You know, and I just, I couldn't do that to my Veos. I couldn't make the females all delicate and small. So I decided just not to make a differentiation between them. So you can just kind of look at a Veos and be like, you know, if you're making one and you can just be, okay, that one's, that one's male. That's fine. You know, like, you don't have to, like, worry about how to tell whether or not it's male or female because they're just, they all look the same. So it doesn't, I, so it doesn't really matter to me if, if it's a gender neutral name because it, I think it actually kind of fits them that it's gender neutral. No, that was actually, oh, I thought that was a thirdly. Hey, you know, as long as it runs, dude. Floss uses all the same letters as Salsa. You are true. And Asshole. <laughs> the Burkhead speedometer is mad, and the check engine light didn't seem to be causing any major issues, and it was actually about three to $4,000 cheaper than it would otherwise have been, but we're like, sure, and we buy it. Oh, no, here comes the fun. You know the sexual dimorphism is mine. <laughs> yep. I don't know, like, the Jadoa, it made sense to give them sexual dimorphism, because birds do, too. Like, some I mean, some birds that you can't tell, but, you know, you get a lot of birds where the female is much more pale, but I don't think... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I don't think lizards and stuff like that have a, such a strong dimorphism, do they? So I figured it didn't make as much sense. I don't know if it's because I've been working on mermaids all day or what. I don't know. My, my line art feel weird to you guys? Like, extra weird? So than normal? Something doesn't look. Not even the commission itself, it's just struggle bus. <laughs> First thing I think I need to do, I think her leg. What do legs do? Rick! I like how all these pictures are like, oh look, a shutterstock of a guy in a suit sitting on a stool. Oh look, a shutterstock of this lady sitting next to this guy who's smiling really weirdly. Oh look, this shirtless dude sitting on this chair really sexily. Like, <laughs> why are stock photos like this? Uh, I want one that's a little more casual. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this commission. I'm really like, everything about this is bothering me. <laughs> I know I can do better than this and it's like not quite right. And so everything's annoying me. <laughs> so we're 150 miles from home, which with two vehicles, one of which is I'm 100% unfamiliar with, broken speedometer and a check engine light, and it's storming. Thankfully, the thing clings to the road like a freaking tank, and we decide to limp on home. We get home without a problem. Check the news, find out that there was a tornado less than a mile from the road we took. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I know you guys will tell me this is fine, but it's just, I don't know, something about it's really bothering me. I 
I really like the pose. Like, I like everything that's going on with it. I like the expressions I did. It's just something doesn't feel right. I feel like I might have to start this over, which sucks, but I don't know. It just... As I'm working on the line art, I keep expecting it to get better, and I know it's not going to get better, but it's, like... I feel like it's all over the place. I'm going to... Okay, I hate to do this again, because Nugget's really excited for I'm going to actually save it and quit it, and I'm going to work on somebody else for a little bit and come back to that, because I, I need to... I need to re that. Like... I don't know. Something just doesn't seem... Something doesn't seem right, and I don't know what it is, and it bugs me. So, let's just... Let's do something else! Let's just do a different one. Oh, I need to get Kurt. Grab your references. Where is your cat? You're fine, Nugget. Uh, all you missed was that I'm gonna stop on yours for a little bit. Um, I don't know. Something about it's still bugging me. Like, here, I'll pull it back up so you can see it again. I don't know. It. It's, like, almost there. It's, like, 90% of the way there. Just something, I don't know. Something about, I don't know if it's the proportions or, like, his arm is still bugging the shit out of me. It, even though I think I fixed it, it still, it still really bothers me. It looks... I don't know if it's too small or too big, and her legs look funny, and I just, like, I like the pose, and I like the interaction between the characters. Like, I think I did okay with the expression and the, the feel of the pose, but it feels really sloppy, and I know I can do better than this. So, I might just take a break and come back to that. I don't know. I, I, I hate stopping and not working on it, because reasons but i just i'm gonna i'm gonna work on kuros for a minute and just i'm gonna get one of these done you know i'm just gonna get one totally finished and then i'll come back to that because i need to get something done <laughs> going on with the wing folded got like pop one is down i don't know What are these fun little critters you're drawing? Uh, they're they're different commissions for different people. Um, every couple of weeks, I open commissions and just grab a couple of people's, you know, I you know their characters and stuff and draw for them. So this is the most recent group. The leg looks short. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to revisit that because I think the they're all off and and the the more I do the line art, the worse it looks to me. So I think I'm gonna come back to it and. Just Sometimes you gotta stop. Just stop that I grab a couple people. Yeah, I, so I, what I do every couple of months, I grab a couple people. Nice. I get to actually have, like, social interaction and touch in there, you know? I get to, like, feel contact with other people. <laughs> yep, you're poofy, baby. Yeah, and again, I think that's something maybe I can uh, adjust if I do the sketch again. I, I don't know. I, I'll come back to it. I have some ideas. I just... I need to reconsider. I don't think it's as strong as it could be. Now I'm imagining this falling victim to a raffle to be kidnapped instead of to receive a free sketch. I see. <laughs> Pretty's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> really? <laughs> I imagine a couple of you wouldn't be too upset about me kidnapping you.
after town? Oh, yeah. But I would... I don't know if I'd treat you better than you treat yourself, but I would I would treat you okay. I'd be alright. I'd do my best. I'm, like, vaguely emotionally manipulative, um, and I've gotten better at that, but that was a problem I used to have that I struggle with. Kidnap me and let me see your lottle. Yes. Is that or is that not a sexual euphemism, though? Because uh, that could be a sexual euphemism. That's okay, I'm, emotion I'm vaguely emotionally manipulated. <laughs> yeah, real talk, I used to be really bad at it. I didn't even realize I was doing it, and then somebody called me out on it. Shit, and I went. And then it didn't stop, because I didn't know how to stop it. And then I went to therapy, and now I'm, like, not as much of an asshole as I used to be. <laughs> if you can believe it, I used to be an asshole, so... I just realized that I drew your cat from this side, and you will never be able to see... Thoughts. Good plan, me. Excellent plan. Any part of your body shaped like an axolotl, you need to consult a doctor. <laughs> yes. The perv in me wants to say whichever you want it to be, but also, it's, it's bad that vaguely emotionally manipulative sounds like my old issues. Uh, we're getting deep. You're not a bad person because you do bad things. You're a good person for improving. I'm glad that that you think that way. <laughs> I try to be very careful with the way I phrase things now because I used to just say whatever I was feeling and not really care about how it was coming out. And then people would take it the wrong way and I'd be like, no, 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 wait, I didn't mean it like that. But they already heard me say it the way I said it, so it doesn't change anything. So I've been trying to be, like, just in general, the last year I've been trying to be really careful about, like, the phrasing I use so that people hear what I'm feeling and not what well hear what I'm thinking and not what I'm feeling sometimes my emotions get to me also anxiety medicine helps I probably gotta remember to take that sometimes <laughs> I guess her hair is kind of the same color as black patch but I'm gonna darken it just a little bit for my own sanity not a bunch just a little <laughs> Now that I'm feeling a little bit better about my ability to not be a total dick to everyone, um, I, uh, I've made a few friends. <laughs> and you guys seem to like hanging out with me, so, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting better. It was kind of my reward for not being a jerk. It's not entirely your fault. Like, I won't fault you on wanting to be careful and phrasing things gently, but some people simply take things negatively regardless of the meaning behind it. That's fair. That's fair. I did say some pretty shitty stuff because I was feeling a certain way and didn't consider... Oh. Well, now I'm confused. Hey, uh, Kuro. Kuro, uh, what side of her face is the black patch on? Because I just realized in this piece, it's on the side that's not the side that her hair covers, but on this one, it is on the side that her hair covers, and I'm very confused. Friends are good. Now if I could find a lady friend, that would be excellent. <laughs> Fun fact, I haven't dated in, like, Being single for eight years straight is awesome. Don't try it. <laughs> oh. A lady friend. Yeah, fun fact, I am the singlest of Pringlists. <laughs> Every time you hear Terraria, yes. Mood. It's not making, I'm making sure you say the right thing, but also being conscious of what other people are hearing. Uh, relationships, though. Go with chibi art, I'd say. I had more direct involvement with how that one was drawn. Okay. Be the lady friend you want to see in the world. Yes. My problem is I have, like, the single worst gaydar on the entire planet. And so every time I like a girl, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm straight. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. Or, <laughs> fuck. Or they just don't talk about it at all. And then I can't tell. And then it's annoying. <laughs> you make me sad. 
I want to snuggle you and make you feel better. Please. Please, though. Snuggle me and make me feel better. My life is a vortex of madness. <laughs> Cat friend, please. <laughs> that face when I'm pan and newly single as I'm just looking for a date friend of some kind to be my squish. Yes. Actually, that's a good point, too. I don't even necessarily need somebody to, like, long-term date. I just want somebody to snuggle me. <laughs> I just miss being snuggled by someone other than a cat. My cat is great, and I love her very much, but <laughs> she is also a cat, and she parkoured off my face this morning because she wanted breakfast, so. All right, I'm gonna have to get it. Let's get Swifty. That's how you use that for I've never watched. I don't actually. I even said that. No, it just ignore me. I'm being a fucking nerd. I'm awkward and just crazy. Current lesbian mood is dying. <laughs> Affection starvation? Thank you. Pringles aren't meant to be single. They're meant to be squeezed with about 99 others in a small tube. <laughs> Can you, though, please? I am I am a confusing single. Everyone- Oh, look at, look at all you guys. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if that should make me feel happy or sad. <laughs> on the one hand, I'm happy because I'm not alone, but on the other hand, I'm sad that none of us are, are seeing anyone. <laughs> Which I guess, again, maybe not such a bad thing, you know. I I don't think it's bad to be single personally, but I do miss it. <laughs> I don't know. For a long time, I wasn't ready for that again, and now after like six years of not. Really wanting, not even that I couldn't date anyone, but not really even really actively wanting to date anyone. Like, I don't know. I'm sort of okay, ready for it. <laughs> Can someone openly identify Pan for me? I feel like I have a general idea, but I'm getting it partially wrong. Technically speaking, straight male. Uh, Pan friends, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like bisexual is like just like. You like males and females, but pan is you like a any anybody, even people who don't I, adhere to the gender binary. That's like trans or um non non binary, I guess. I think in general, or at least in a layperson's terms, a pansexual person, someone finds them attracted to people regardless of sex or gender. And this is how Axie Stream became a deep and serious discussion, right? I don't know. I was in a mood. I'm, I'm in a mood to talk about this kind of stuff. So let's let's do the thing. We're we're getting into it. <laughs> you like people for being people, which is a revolutionary concept. <laughs> it is a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what it is. I, I think it's. I think it's just a broader term of, like, bisexual. Pretty sure. I'm not pan, so I don't know. I'm not even really outside of gender binary. So I don't- I, I don't- I'm not an authority on things. That- that was my understanding also, uh, what- uh, What- what Pretty said. Such a bad thing to say given the context. I'm sorry. I love everybody. Everybody's good. I, I'm mostly interested in women, but everybody's good and pure. And as long as you're not hurting anyone, you do your thing. I'm, I'm happy.
I love that your kitty has a cat. My mom's cat was like that. I'd make anyone out... I'd take anyone out for a ginger on friend terms. Your phone is, like, unhappy with you. Uh, secondary question, Kuro, real quick to derail the conversation. Um, is her eye... I know this is like a stylized chibi eye. Do you want her pupil to be black? Just, just to be sure. Uh, Aubrey, I think that's still, I think that's still pan. Black people's fine? Cool. Sweet. I don't know, I'm not gonna answer too hardcore on these, because we've got, like, actual pan people in the chat that are not me, because <laughs> I am not pan. So, take their authority first. I don't spend too much time, like... It's, it's probably bad to say as an LGBT person, but I actually really don't spend much time in LGBT. I find some of them a little overwhelming. I just find social interaction and people a little overwhelming, so going to, like, clubs and stuff, I just... I don't know, it hurts me to think about it. I don't even really want to play Pokemon Go sometimes. <laughs> but I don't really spend too much time in those kind of circles, so I don't know too much. I know enough from Tumblr. I don't like bars either. Yeah, I'm not big on bars. Ginger meant to be dinner. You were trying to say a chill dinner without Netflix and chill context. Yeah, exactly. That whole concept of Netflix and chill has ruined any chance I've had of, like, inviting, la like, female, not lady friends as in, like, girlfriends, but, like, as in just friends who are female over because, like, I don't want to be awkward and be like, do you want to come over and watch Netflix with me? Like, if it becomes Netflix and chill, sure, but, like, I just really want to- I just want you to watch Daredevil with me. Like, please just come over and watch Marvel. <laughs> yeah, it, sexuality is hard to explain, especially without getting too much into, like, the aspects of it. Sometimes. Which, by the way, even though we're talking about things like gender identity and stuff, we gotta stay away from actual topics of sex. I'm sure you guys understand and are totally cool with it, but I would remind you. Why does it have to be Netflix? It could say, it, it could be not Netflix, but Netflix has all the movies on it. <laughs> like, there's so many movies on Netflix. Netflix is amazing. And also the best. Netflix. And also, you can't watch Daredevil on uh, anything but Netflix. I just need Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Mr. Mime, Kangaskhan, Farfetch'd, Articuno, Zapdos, Mew, Mewtwo, and, and my Kanto text is done. Hey, hooray! I need someone to complain about these TV shows with. Yeah, I got a little behind too, and I got shadow banned um, before one of the events the other week, so that was fun. Um, but I actually got really lucky and caught uh, Hitmonlee in the parking lot of my uh, local grocery store, which was great. Um, I'm gonna, like, shear that up a little bit anyway with a... I'm gonna put a gradient there anyway, but that... That's better. I have a hard time getting around, so I'm a little behind. That's fair. I just got Mew the other day. His name is Rufus. I 
think the only thing I don't have in Pokemon Go right now is actually all the reef. I think that's all that I'm missing. I think I do have everything at this point, which is pretty sweet. Now I can stop playing this godforsaken game for a little while. Like, I can just chill for a minute. <laughs> ever find a ditto for the Mew thing. Yeah, same. Oh, I forgot to do the insides are free. The topic derailed on to Pokemon Go for a second for some reason, and I don't know what that was. But I'm okay with it. So. Yeah, so that was my random deep topic for the night. I don't know what that was all about, but we're here, and we did it, and I'm proud of you guys. I don't know why, but I'm proud of you anyway. I don't know what that means. Don't ask. I just, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy and you guys are great. <laughs> still need some cuddles, though. Still, that's still on my list. Random deep chats. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it gets weird. <laughs> You accomplish something, Axobottle. Axobottle will look cute as her friends. A good, I haven't had a chance to have a good, nice chat with people about relationship stuff in a while, so that's, uh... That's nice. Did I make this playlist? Um, no. I did not. Um, Dire Crow, uh, one of the mods in the Discord, and he I, he's not here right now. He's also one of the mods on, on the channel. Um, he made this playlist for me. Um, I sort of requested just chill. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to have some chill music for the stream, really. I didn't want anything, like, super intense, like, Hell Gear Solid or anything. Uh, the problem was is that everything was getting flagged on YouTube. Um, and so what was happening is I was running these random playlists I was finding on YouTube, and they didn't really ha always have the tone I wanted for the stream. Like, sometimes you would get really intense stuff in the, uh, in the playlist that I didn't really want for the stream, and it was a little bit hard for me to focus with that music. Um, and then the VODs would get muted because there'd be copyright music. So, uh, Dyer was awesome and exported all the music that we could keep, and we chucked it all into this playlist, and here it is. So, yeah, Axobottle did it. Or, not Axobottle, um, Dyer Crow did. I'm sure if you wanted the, the playlist, though, um, we don't have it posted anywhere, but if you wanted the, if you wanted the playlist, I'm sure you could probably poke Dyer and he could give it to you. If I had a good place to, like, upload the playlist for you guys to download it, I would do that, but I don't really, so... Can't handle epic action game music during a peaceful arting. Nope. The only kind of high energy stuff I ever listen to while I'm do honest to God, the only thing I ever listen to really is uh, I've been listening to Lone Digger by um, Caravan Palace pretty much on repeat at work because usually it takes me a little while to do a sketch for something, but my, my supervisor came over and was like, okay, we need a play set for this toy line. And it's gonna look like this. And he gave me like a basic idea of what we're doing. Like it needs to have this feature, it needs to be able to do this, but you design it. And so I sat down, I turned on Caravan Palace, and I just, I sketched up an entire playset in like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was a great, it was great. I felt so productive. That was like the most productive I've ever been. After experience with my ex, I don't like going, um, I like the term I picked for what? Speaking up overly specific terms. Yeah, that is a definitely a, uh, extra track regardless of gender, but. Eromantic is an aromatic spectrum term for doesn't exactly understand what it, what is and isn't romantic attraction, also sometimes called the what the fuck romantic. Uh, yes. I feel that on a personal level. I wouldn't call myself 
that term that I can't pronounce, even if I could pronounce it, but um, for sure. <laughs> My biggest problem is I can't read other people. Like I, I had an experience in college where I had somebody that I thought was attracted to me and was doing things that would lead me to believe that she was attracted to me turned out that she wasn't and she led me on for like two years and it was ridiculous and i also was being kind of a dickhead about it so like it wasn't totally her fault but point being i totally misread the whole situation and so since then i have no idea of anybody's sexuality when i look at them and so i've had a really hard time trying to date people because i can't tell <laughs> if they're gay or not so like i keep looking at girls and i'm like she's so pretty and i want to ask her out but i don't know if she's gay and i don't want to risk the friendship if she's not gay <laughs> like you know that's been my life for like two years <laughs> I love Caravan. Caravan Palace is amazing. Oh, Caravan Palace is so good. A lot of their music's really good. The only thing I don't like by them is I, I found it on YouTube. It was um, Crash by them or Clash by them. I think it's Crash. Um, but it has a something called a Jupiter remix, and I don't I don't like the Jupiter remix. But it keeps coming up on my Pandora, and I'm like, can you not? Please, I don't like this remix. It's so not okay. I love that description. Yeah, plushy lover's description. Uh, okay. I got distracted. I was talking about relationship up with you guys, and I got really distracted about what I was doing with my life. Spotify superiority. Yeah. Honestly, I thought about trying a different service. I like Pandora because it's easy to set up and whatever, but sometimes the music that comes up is such fucking garbage. Just a It's just absolutely asinine. <laughs> And then, even though I- so I pay them $5 a month to not have ads and to be able to skip as much as I want, but after you skip so many times, they make you listen to a track that you can't skip. And it's such bullshit. Garbage tracks you. Maybe I'll have to try Spotify sometime and see if that reduces my issue with random nonsense tracks. The other problem is that, like, so if you go to a, if I go to a station, like, I have a baby driver, um, station, because it's, it's fun for driving, because it's just, like, 80s music. Uh, so it's really good for driving home from work and just being frustrated in traffic. But, um, I also had, um, um, <laughs> Um, but, like, if I play the Disney station, I I get the three songs I want right at the beginning, and then all of it's just, like, we're gonna play that one song from, uh, Sleeping Beauty that you don't give a shit about. Oh, look, it's Cinderella. Who the fuck likes Cinderella? Nobody. Like... <laughs> mm. My stations are usually classic rock. I do have a red, blue, <laughs> red white, blue, yellow. Maybe I'm not manipulating it hard enough. Also, Pandora has this chronic issue of never, ever, ever wanting to play the songs that you like. I liked Lone Digger by Caravan Palace on the Caravan Palace uh, playlist, and I have never heard the song come up after that. It came up one time, and I liked it, and then it didn't. I thought, like, give it a thumbs up, and it didn't come back, and I was mad about it. I'm surprised that's on Pandora. Or are you on Spotify? I forgot. Add one song with a joke in it to your Pandora playlist and suddenly your playlist is full, is flooded with Dennis Leary and Lonely Island. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Pandora, hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I am in the mood for just one type of song. Like, I really like, and, and if you've been around, it, but I actually really like Kesha's new music uh, a lot. I think that she has taken leaps and bounds and become so much better than she was. I mean, she wasn't bad before. I, her music was okay before, but her new album is incredible. And... I had a playlist of just, like, modern pop songs like that. And I was, you know, just 
or whatever genre you would consider that, whatever like the mainstream genre is. And I listened to it for a long time, and then I got bored of hearing that music because they play the same like you know 75 songs over and over again. So then I made the Baby Driver playlist, and I listened to that for a while. But I then I got used to the songs. I knew which songs were coming. I knew which ones were which. You know, whatever. So I made. I made the Disney station. I listened to that for a little while because you can never go wrong with Disney music. But again, there's like four songs I want to listen to on that station and they come up in the same order every time. So once I've listened to those four songs, I don't have anything else to listen to. You know, so it's like... And now I'm stuck on... Now I'm stuck on Caravan Palace and I keep hoping that I'll hear more Caravan Palace on their own station. But I never want to have like a mixed playlist of like a million different styles. I honestly, honestly, I get the ones I like a lot sheerly because I mostly listen to an acapella, acapella and there's not much available. Gotcha. Had to keep making new playlists to get away from certain songs. Yeah. I think Pandora knows how often you listen to certain songs, actually. Um, because if I listen to a song a couple times, like, don't judge me, but Mr. Blue Sky um, by Electric Something, I don't remember what it is. I don't remember the end. I just remember it's the song from the beginning of Guardians 2. Um, but, um, yeah, they played Mr. Blue Sky, like, one time, and I was, like, so excited about it that when I got it to a stoplight, I backed up and repeated the song. And then they kept playing it. It kept coming up. Like, once a, like, once a day, it would come up. It wasn't, like, excessive, but it would come up. And then it didn't... And then one day it stopped showing up, and it never came back. And it was like... Like, you skip it one time, and they're like, nah. You haven't listened ever listened to a song for two weeks straight. You don't like music. Yes. <laughs> for a little while, it was Mr. Blue Sky, and then it was um. Now it's Lonely Lonely Digger. Before that, it was. I don't remember what it was. There was another song though. I'm just like starting to talk to people. I get really close to the person, and then I'm like, I want to love you, but it almost seems like it seems to happen suddenly and early on in the friendship. Meanwhile, my last ex. I was blinded. <laughs> Being together get me an attraction to them. I want to find another nice person who likes me and tries to, likes me for me to try to love back. Yeah, that's fair. I always get confused because I make friends with people and then when they do something nice to me, I'm like, second do you like me? You know, and I have to like, I have to remind myself to like, shut up and tone it down. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn the fan on in this room. It's like eight. I have the light in my bedroom above my bed um, is off all the time because then I just use the light switch to turn the fan on and off. And so when I went to turn the fan on in this room, I was like, wait, why is it working? Probably not working because you already have the lights on and you'd have to actually reach up there and pull the little thingy to fan work. And I don't know which speed setting it's going to go on, so let's just not and just go turn the air conditioner on. <laughs> That's the big mood, Axie. It is a big mood. You guys are all full of big moods tonight. We are having a big mood kind of night. Whether it's about important life stuff or whether it's about what stations on Pandora make us want to kill ourselves. My problem with Pandora's algorithm is it's both extremely vague and entirely too precise. Having a general channel is better than having one that's super specific. Yeah, I mean, sometimes... the other. So here's another thing that's weird. Um, I... Um, I don't remember what song it was now. I, oh, yeah, actually, it was, that's what it was. It was, uh, it was Mr. Blue Sky. Um, I, was it Mr. Blue Sky? There was a song I liked on that channel. And as soon as I liked it, it changed the entire channel to be full of nothing but, like, weird, campy 80s, like, like, acoustic guitar songs that all had the same, like, chorus line. And it was so weird. It was so bizarre how many 80s songs sound exactly the same when you play them in an order. When you play them all at once. Like, it was really odd. I'm really bad at picking up signals of interest. Same. That's the one. We keep, I like how we keep jumping back and forth between Pandora versus Spotify and um, relationships. <laughs> this is a good... Good conversational night. We're all over the place, and I love it. My mom sometimes ruins recommendations by playing music from the 60s and then just goes, this isn't my music. YouTube, stop. 
Yes, YouTube. So, uh, fun fact, I was listening to, uh, as, you know, as my week is, um, playing Lonely Digger on YouTube, and uh, the next song it recommended and just auto-played was um, the, uh, what's it called, the Rasputin song, that, like, really crazy, like, Russian themed like dance song that's about Rasputin and it was really funny like I love that song it just like why was that the song it decided it was going to play next like YouTube looked at the music I was listening to at that moment and was like she needs this in life she needs the Nightcore remix of the Rasputin song <laughs> rah, rah, Rasputin. yes that one that's the one that's the one <laughs> I get their car stories back in there yes I flirt with everyone by default and they flirt back and I freak out <laughs> yes uh, I'm the opposite, though. I am such an awkward bundle of nerves that, like, if I try to flirt, you will know that I'm flirting. <laughs> and if I if if you think I'm flirting and I'm not freaking out about it, then I probably don't realize I'm flirting, and I might still be flirting because I like you, but I don't realize it. Like, if I try to be all suave and smooth, you will know because my face will turn, like, six shades of red. <laughs> This is a big gay music mood stream, I guess. But like 80% of the time you will be able to tell I'm about to talk about something that's gonna make me really uncomfortable because my face like immediately becomes the color of a tomato. I'm one of those people that has like the unfortunate skin tone where every little change in pigment is extremely noticeable. So like the last two days, um, a friend of mine from work and I have been, uh, we've been going out and taking walks during lunch, but it's been like 80 degrees. And I'm walking in sandals, but I'm also wearing long pants because I have to wear long pants at work. And it's just like, by the time we get back, my face is like bright red. And my feet are swollen. <laughs> it's just, ugh, I hate it. I like taking walks with her. She's super cool. But like, god fucking damn it. I'm playing that one lately because it actually fits really well when I'm playing my Russian, playing my Russian cruiser Molotov in World of Warships. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I'm also the kind of person that like totally overreads signals and like I, then I worry about it, you know? Like, like this one time I had somebody ask me to hang out with them after we hadn't really hung out that much, but it was like immediately after I came out to them. So then I was like, are you now asking me to hang out outside of our normal engagement because you wish to date me? Or is it just because you think that you can trust me more? I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> like, it, like I, I misread little tiny signals like that because I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> you told Axel Bottle to shut up and then he told he loved you. <laughs> oh. What are you gonna do now, little cutis? Oh, Axel Bottle loves you. <laughs> Axel Bottle's a cute boy. <laughs> Axel Bottle, you ruined the conversation. What are you doing, buddy? Axel Bottle, shut up. Axel Bottle loves you. Okay. <laughs> Look how happy he is. So pleased. He professed his love to you, and he, he interrupted the conversation. He's beautiful. Yeah, pretty much what Ryarko said, though. It's like, I, you know, I can't, can't take the hint, you know? I can't see a hint. I, I don't even know if there's ever been any situation, like, that's the thing. I can't even think of any times where, like, I found out that somebody was giving me hints and I didn't know about it, you know? Um, yeah, me on the last day of work as a baker, walks into Starbucks, barista. Hey, how are you? Me, good. It's got my last, it's my last day. I got a new job. Oh, is it as a model? Ah, it leaves. Yup. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the compliment. I'm out. Thanks, though. 
Yes. And it's also one of those things where, like, communication's important, and so you have to be willing to be open and be, like, just straight up ask people stuff, but, like, when you've asked out, like, four straight girls, you kind of don't want to ask anybody out anymore, you know? <laughs> like, I am zero for four. I, I think I'm about done trying to ask people out. <laughs> she was so cute, though. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You got nervous. You were overwhelmed by the cute. I, w I probably would have done the exact same thing. I probably, I, honest to God, I would have done the same thing. I would have, I would have gotten all weird and red, and then I would have walked out. <laughs> I would have just not known what to do. Hey, Smokey Bunny, welcome to this weird, weird stream that we're having where we got deep about relationships for like 20 minutes. What's going on? Oh, this is somebody Kuro knows. In fact, I recognize your name a little bit. Have you been here before? Everybody's names kind of blur together after a while. I'm not gonna lie. There's a guy I like, but he's moving away. So rip. Oh, that's the worst. I can see you there, art being used as a ref. Yes. Oh, it's oh, is this Smokey's art? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. There's uh, which one? Which one is? Which one, Smokey Bunnies? This one? Or that one? Which one? I like I like them. Either both of them are great. <laughs> I like both of these arts. Yes, pretty, please tell me. <laughs> tell me all your secrets. I'm also so like here's another thing, right? So usually I can figure out somebody's sexuality pretty quickly by just mentioning something that's like relatable. <laughs> or just by straight up telling the other person that I'm gay, and then they're like like, I'll mention something like, oh, yeah, it's so hard to, like, meet other gay people. And usually they're, they, people fall into one of two categories. They either go, oh, yeah, I totally know how that is. Or they go, oh, yeah, I can't imagine how that must be. And that tells me immediately, are you, are you potentially also gay? Or are you probably mostly not gay? And, like... <laughs> the chib. Oh, it's beautiful. I, ha I want to drop art in the server. Do it, yo! Oh, do it. So do it. Um, and it's like... Uh, girl I have a crush on, okay? Won't tell me. I can't I can't get her to talk about it. Like, every time I mention it, she just kind of nods and <laughs> just goes along with whatever I'm talking about. And I'm like, please give me a sign. <laughs> give me, like, any indication that I have the slightest of chances because I will ask you out pretty much immediately and not be terrified for once. But, fuck. Dropping some? Yes. What if they say, I know what that's like, but they mean, like, about dating in general? Well, then I get confused, and then that's worse. But at least it's something in the affirmative. <laughs> I'm trans, so when I ask a girl out, I also have to wonder if they're straight or gay, but in a different way. Oh, that, yeah, oh my god, that's gotta be pretty rough. What a blessed conversation to arrive in. Hi, Kitsch. Welcome. Yeah, we've been toppling back and forth between uh, art and talks about sexuality and having crushes on people and how hard it is to read other people. Um, yeah, it's... And, and yeah, all that. Um, yeah, let me open Discord. I want to see what you want. Also, please don't open me on a private conversation because that's really what I wanted to avoid. Okay, great. Open's there. Ah, oh, a beautiful art. Oh, you're that, Audrey. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, when you guys have different names on Twitch than from Discord, I have to, like, get used to which one you are. Oh, he's a cool dragon, friend. I like his big wings. They're beautiful. Yeah, F Flugly, if they say that, like, if they if somebody responds with that, it's not like a foolproof plan. It just gives me, like, a general sense of if there's somebody that's, like, thought about that kind of thing. It's not necessarily, like, 100% of the time. The problem is, is that when the person you say it to just goes, uh-huh, and you're like, okay, great. <laughs> Thanks for not disclosing that information to me by accident. <laughs> the other way to do it, I usually, is, is getting them to talk about a significant other that they either have or had at some point in their life, and then that usually gives me a pretty good sense also, but that doesn't always work. Hard to bring. <laughs> 
He has very good arts. It's so hard. I hate it. I'm mostly just trying to not be weird and just, like... It's one of those things, like, I'm super chill about, like, crushes and stuff, honestly. Like, I've definitely beaten myself up about crushes in the past and, like, not having said the right, like, what I thought was the right thing or whatever, so... Like, if I ask somebody out and they're like, oh, sorry, I'm not gay, then I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Are we still friends? Cool. Let's continue to be friends then. Like, I, al I always feel more awkward about what the other person's going to think. Like, I'm always afraid that the other person's going to feel really awkward once they know that I had a crush on them. <laughs> I try not to be weird. I do. <laughs> I try not to be weird. It doesn't, it doesn't work, but I try anyway. I have spent entirely too long on this commission, mostly because I keep talking to you, which is probably a good thing, and that's exactly what I wanted, but I keep having to look over at chat, and then I get, like, in your eyes. What do you do when you have a crush on all of your friends? I, um... And then they give you a gender-neutral name and use only gender-neutral pronouns. Flugly. <laughs> yep, that would really fuck with me. Seriously, that would, like, ruin my day. Just crush on everyone, yes. I hate people asking. I hate asking people out because I don't want to see them, you know, differently. Yeah. Or, like, I just don't want them to think that, like, I look at them differently, like, in a weird way, you know? I would much rather maintain our friendship than make it awkward, sort of, sort of a deal, but. Yep, relationships are hard and it feels good to talk about it. I don't get to talk to people about relationship stuff very often and I've been flooding tested with information about this that you're probably exhausted of hearing me talk about it. So you guys are cool and listen and rant about things and stuff. Luckily I've never, I never uh, had a had a crush on somebody who's been or was long distance, you know, at least that's been kind of a kind of a good thing. I tried online dating once and it just didn't really work for me. And it just it sucks because I like that's probably the easiest way for me to find a relationship, but like I don't, I don't know. I can't It's different with you guys cuz like I'm talking out loud to you and so it feels like and it's not that I don't want to, not that I want to date you guys, but <laughs> I want to date all of you at the same time. I'm kidding. Don't worry about it. Um, but, like, trying to, like, form a relationship with somebody just purely through text. Like, even online dating, I get, like, five messages into the conversation. And I'm like, I don't even care. Like, you're here and we're, we've said hello and we've exchanged hellos. And you asked me how I was doing and I told you where I work. And then you told me where you work. And now I have no more questions. I just can't form a connection if I can't speak verbally to the person, you know? We got rejected without even trying. <laughs> Date all of us. Hey, zombie vex, what's going on? Welcome to this weird conversation about how I just admitted that I want to date everybody in the Axie stick. And and denied it at first, but then accepted myself. My best friend had a crush on me for, crush on me a while ago. And only, recent, and only recently admitted it, which is actually pretty entertaining to realize that. Long distance is such a trip. I feel like I could do long distance if I knew the other person. Like, if, if we had, like, met and were not long distance to start with and then became long distance, I could probably handle it. Um, it would probably suck, and I'd probably be really sad. But, like, I feel like I could probably handle it a little better. But, I don't know. I just, I, I've tried several times. It's not just, like, one time. I've, I've had a couple times where I tried to date online, and I just... I don't feel the same connection I do with somebody that, like... Not that I have a so like here's here's a good example of just making a friendship with somebody online, like, um, which is a weird example of it, but like, past Wallace, we're friends, <laughs> and I've never met her in real life, but I've seen her on stream, and we've chatted through text, and we've heard each other's voices, so like I feel like we had that kind of like connection through streaming, but if I've never heard your voice, I can't like form a romantic relationship or like 
And it's different because you guys come here every day and I recognize you by your names and stuff, but like if it's somebody I'm talking to like a couple hours a day, maybe once a week because I'm on an online dating site, it doesn't work. I can't maintain that kind of a... I can't maintain that sort of relationship, so I don't know. I feel like I'm jumbling like six different thoughts right now. <laughs> I was into a girl, but she had a boyfriend and then she just stopped having a boyfriend. I told her not to ask me out because it was online and I wanted to meet her first. And then her living situation changed and I wasn't able to visit, so we just ended up being good friends. And then we started flirting again and I was gonna ask her out and then she got the bo got a boyfriend. Well, <laughs> I've been long distance for three to four years now. We are married and we'll soon live together. Oh, that's awesome, zombie. Oh, that's, that's probably so exciting too, after being long distance for so long. Some poor AI is trying desperately to get Artsy's attention, but can never be, because she'll never hear its voice. Yep. I'm shallow like that. I also just like other people. <laughs> I think that's probably the closest thing to a kink that I have. I just like other people's voices. I really like listening to people talk. <laughs> Which is weird, because I talk a lot. <laughs> I believe starting online is problematic and it's better to build off real interactions. Yeah. Like I said, I would I would rather start a relationship in real life and then have it go to long distance than the other way around. I don't think I could start a relationship not long distance. Or, I don't think I You know what I meant. I'm still not sure about that shadow color. It doesn't feel... Oh, that's better. Just gotta darken it a little bit. Like, you people talking, that's a pretty freaky kink, right? That's why- I, No, no, that's what I mean. Like, that's the weird- That's the closest thing to a kink that I have, and it's not even that weird. <laughs> like, like, voice kink is probably the closest. That's the closest to sexual stuff we're getting, by the way. It's just the vague mention of the word kink. <laughs> Easier for me to interact online because of social interactions give me major anxiety. That's also fair. So I guess that's true. That's like- that, and that's, I think, the, the interesting about people in general is that, like, for somebody who is as socially awkward as I am and such, like, a goober and I just trip over my own words because I'm just, just a just monstrosity of a human, I love talking to other people. And I get really anxious while I'm doing it and I get really stressed out and tired after I'm done talking to somebody for, like, several hours. I get super sleepy when I talk to people, but I love it. I can't not talk to people. I really enjoyed working in retail for that reason because I was able to talk to people all day, every day. Super kinky, loving your significant other, oh my gosh. And I met in middle school and we were friends throughout high school until I was like, oh, I actually like you way more than friends. We started dating, then you moved away and she joined the military and you're waiting for her orders to finish. Oh, that's so cool. We're the ones who put you to sleep. No, you totally are. You guys, you guys put me to sleep, but it's not in like a, it's not in like a, oh my God, you guys are so boring and I go to sleep. Like, it's just because I am- I just get exhausted being around other people, and I have a great time. It's like happy sleepy. You know, like- like that feeling you get when you've been, like, at a park all day, and you've been running around, you're having a great time, you were laughing with your friends, and you get home, and all you want to do is take a nap? Like, that's me. I am that nap you want to take after you've been out doing fun things all afternoon. <laughs> This song is per has a perfect romantic feel, soft romantic feel to it, perfect for the talk. It really is. I'm really into holding hands and kissing. OMG, kink. Yeah, you have the kinkies. Look at you, holding hands. Oh, so dirty. I like snuggles. I like to be snuggled. The internet does not understand the sleepy feel. Sleepy and actually falling asleep do not always correlate for me, though. That's the other problem. The other problem is that my brain and my body do not like to speak to one another sometimes, and my body's just like, oh, well. My brain, my body's like, oh, it's time for bed, and my brain's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and then we get stuck in that cycle for hours. I take medicine. <laughs> my kink is cuddling. Same. I have a problem with sitting in a room with people and it's quiet and I'll start healing conversations with, uh, with people even though I keep to myself most of the time. I do that at work a lot. Um, the, the girl who sits next to me at work, uh, sometimes she has conversations on the phone with her husband and her husband's a really funny dude. So like sometimes I hear her like teasing him and I just start giggling and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to eavesdrop, but your conversation's really funny and one-sided. I just like, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna eavesdrop, but I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I also get really distracted by noises, um, like really loud cafes and stuff. 
confuse the shit out of me because I know that the person in front of me is the person I should be talking to, but I keep getting distracted by noises in the room. I'm just an odd, odd child. <laughs> I just realized how strange I make myself sound. I get distracted by loud noises. <laughs> distracted by loud noises, I don't understand other people, and I get tired when I talk to pe my friends. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that information that I just described to you, but squirrel! <laughs> yep. Oh, and also the whole thing about my brain and my body not speaking. That's actually a real thing that happens. <laughs> it's called having anxiety, and it's <laughs> It's most prominent when I'm about to have a meltdown and my brain is going, it's okay, you're, you're not gonna die, you're safe, and my body's going, no, we have to cry right now. And then I don't. <laughs> Perhaps I am a large cat. Perhaps. Yes. Anxiety for the win. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if you call- I don't know if I would call that winning, but... <laughs> I'm sure that I am far from the only person in this chat that has anxiety, so hopefully you take some comfort knowing that you're artsiest axolotl is the most anxious creature. I am a large cat, so am I. Prozac for the win. I actually have to think about maybe going to find. I, see, I don't have a doctor out here in Pennsylvania or in uh, Missouri yet. Um, I haven't. My my mom's insurance doesn't work out here, and I'm just, I still had another year left on her insurance. So, um, yeah, and so that was a great idea. <laughs> um, but I um probably think for another doctor just because I'm gonna run out of anxiety medicine at some point, and I need that. So I was really afraid to take anxiety anti-anxiety medicine at first so like i don't take a i don't take a very large dose but um i was afraid to take it because uh ambien fucks me up real bad so i was afraid to take any medication because ambien specifically messed me up so i was like i don't want to take medicine make me plus well, she is actually a large cat <laughs> Ahoy, Gunts! What's going on? We're working on some Canadian. I'm talking about, uh, talking about life. Having discussions about relationships and Pandora and Spotify. They're not life things and other such and such. I was really afraid to take anxiety medicine. Everyone who has ever been diagnosed with anxiety, <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, Ambien is like the worst. Doctor shopping sucks. I'm about to find one for mental health stuff soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about relationships, orientation, music, and cars. Somehow they were all linked. Somehow we got from point A to point B. I'm not sure how we got here. The other thing I got to think about doing is maybe getting a new... I have to get a new um, chiropractor. Um, I don't need it desperately enough that I'm, like, in the in the market for one right now, but I know I'm going to need one. Back is all sorts of... <laughs> that actually looks really cool, and I was going to, like... I was gonna fill with that, but I kind of like it. All right, got two more layers to pop on here, and then we are all done. All the things that lead to money troubles. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, my friend. It's perfect, beautiful. Ambien apparently has some sort of side effects because there's an Ambien <laughs> subreddit where people make posts about the weird stuff they do while they're on it. The best post on that entire subreddit was P. Borno. That sounds incredible. I didn't know that was a thing. I had a class with a girl who took Ambien. She said that she got into a fight with her boyfriend and held a knife up to him in the kitchen and made him move out all while she was sleeping. She found out he was 
arguing with her because she got out of bed and sleepwalked to the kitchen and peed in a drawer. Oh my god. <laughs> Ambien just makes me fucking depressed, man. I didn't have anything interesting like that happen. I literally just cried for like a day straight. I'm so glad that I'm not the only one who got fucked up by Ambien. Oh my god. You don't have any idea how happy that makes me. <laughs> I thought it was just me and I felt really bad about it. Ambien is, I believe, a medication that's supposed to help you sleep better. Yeah, I think it's a sleep aid, but, like, it doesn't. <laughs> it just, it becomes, like, a psychotic for some reason. <laughs> like, melatonin, but, like, not? Yeah, um, actually, for some reason, melatonin doesn't help me sleep. But, yeah, kind of like... Sudden up pace music. Yeah, right. Super Meat Boy's in here for some reason. I like it. He Borno. I don't like it. Like if melatonin was made by Walter White. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's kind of like ambient. Ambient's like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the commercials for like Lunesta. It's like a sleep aid like that. Just makes me dream weird. Yeah. Be Borno. Look at him. It's not delivery. It's Be Borno. <laughs> I don't I don't know why Ambien specifically is so fucking weird, but after that experience I was like, don't ever give me a sleep aid ever again, and then I figured out that my lack of ability to sleep was because I was was I because I have anxiety, so it's that <laughs> that in a hurry. That's not that this one right here. Probably organized. Trazodone as a sleep aid for a while, just got low dosage antidepressant. It actually works super well. Hey, there you go. Call lessons from Risk of Rain is one of the more relaxed tracks. Yeah, I'm sure. NyQuil's the best I can do. Yeah. NyQuil doesn't really help me too much either. I don't know. Can't take any sleep aids because I've got phobia of being knocked out by anything, so I'll go into panic mode. That's fair. Ambient sleepwalking side effects were so prominent that, that the symptom that the Simpsons had an episode that started with Homer being prescribed nappy and oh no. Well, hey, so it wasn't just me. One more. Apparently it was two. That. Also, this is gonna bother the shit out of me if I don't. It. I don't know whether I should be horrified or excited. Like, I, I'm laughing. But I can find It's like officially in my medical records though, don't give me Ambien. It just makes me cry a lot. I don't get any of the interesting side effects, I just get really sad. Don't ask me where I'm going with this, I gotta figure it out. Um, character is yellow, so a bit more. That's fun. Then, I guess. Oh, it's Apple. What's going on? Welcome to Relationship Music Ambient Discussion Stream. Yes. Multimedia experience, the stream. Oh yes, 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 we talked about cars briefly too, yep. Really sad is already an unacceptable side effect, yes. Also Pokemon Go, don't forget. Oh yeah, we did talk about Pokemon Go, it was beautiful. We're covering all the bases, we're getting deep and philosophical. 
or something. Okay, we're gonna stick with that. I just, I'm sitting here thinking about like, oh, somebody finally told me I'm not the only person that got fucked up by Ambien. I don't know why I, st I don't know why that stuck with me. I gotta make a new, make a new. See? Forgetting to do that too. That's something important. I should probably do it. I'm not gonna do it today. Boom. You like into hair? I added this little highlight under her hair, even though like she technically wouldn't have a highlight there, um, just because her hair blends in with her um, face a little too much. And it was really hard to see her muzzle, so I put that little purple highlight behind her face just to pull her face forward a little bit. Uh, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm total. I have it up on my other computer right now. I, I brought up B Borno on my other computer because that's where I have my chat, and that's really funny. So I'm just gonna look at the rest of this page now. I'm gonna just giggle. Um. So yeah. Uh. Let's see. Let me uh center this bad boy, and then we'll call it done. I think. And then, uh, I think I'm actually gonna call it a night. It's, like, four minutes of, so... It's about time. Um... So. Finding out that your normal is incredibly relieving. Support groups are insanely good. Well, the Axie stack can certainly be a support group. We... So, um, there is a raffle tonight, in case any of you didn't see Axobottle spamming about it earlier. Um, <laughs> so, um, it's fine. You know what you're doing. So, um, I, oh, also, uh, Kuro, I'm going to save this out when I'm done uh, with the stream. I'm just going to save it out and send you the, your copies of it. Um, so, there is a raffle. Uh, if anybody has not entered the raffle, do so now by typing an exclamation point join. Uh, you must be following the Axie stack in order to join. So, uh, yep. So join that raffle. The only person who is not eligible for a raffle this time around is Featherfev. I have not seen her yet tonight, but she is not uh, eligible because she won last time cannot win two raffles in a row. Uh, I would make it more than that, but then I would get confused. So. <laughs> Axobottle's also here to remind you that he cares about you. Feather was here? She was lurking. I didn't see her before. Yeah, she's, she said her throat was bugging her. I was in her stream yesterday for a little while, and she was sick. Yeah. Sadness. Who all is in? Oh, yeah, I'll read the since we're still small enough for me to actually read the list. The list includes Plushy Lover, Flugly, Riarkra, Aubriel, Locutus, Stop Sign, Pretty 420, uh, Zombie, Smoky Bunny, Apple Gravy, and Kitsch. So if you are not on that list and you would like to be eligible for a. I'll show you guys what you're getting. Off outside. Um, I didn't expect to see a white thing fluttering against my window. I made this for Fev. Uh, Fev won the last time, and she asked me to draw her secretary bird character. So this is what you will get. It is a flat headshot, a uh, flat color headshot. Um, and also apple gravy. This is what I'm going to update yours to at some point in my life. Uh, I'll get there at some point. The thing was, is I was going to do it as, and I think I said this at the beginning of the stream too, I was going to just do it as black and white, but by the time I'm done messing around with black and white, I might as well have just done it in color. So, I just did it in color. <laughs> Alright, the nugget is in. Alright, last call. Anybody else want to join in on the raffle? Anybody else feeling like popping in? So that's, that's what you guys are winning. Anything you want, but in that style. That style of just like a sketchy... Kind of messy line art with color. And all bust only. But anything you want, as long as it fits my terms and service terms and conditions. Oh, Fox is getting in there. Popping in at the last second. 
All right, here we go. 957, yes. All right, here we go. Axe Ball's gonna pick. Hey, it's the nugget. <laughs> Hooray. All right, so we got our winner. Circling Nugget has won this month's stream. <laughs> you won a thing! I also... <laughs> for clarification... Um... Because <laughs> this is the second person who has won that has been a mod. Of the three people I've picked. Axel Bottle does not have any extra programming to... Uh, to favor mods. First of all. And it is complete coincidence that two mods have won. Just so you know, and <laughs> so no one gets mad. I, he, it's definitely fair. I made sure that nobody had any extra advantages because we did away with the coin system, so everybody's even now. It's rigged. Yep, it is rigged. You, you got me. You caught me. <laughs> no, congratulations, Nugget. You got lucky. You, you, you're here all the time, so you deserve it. So everybody deserves it. You're all here all the time. But, you know. So I'll talk to you afterward um, about what you want to get. I'll put you on the list. And I'll figure out what the fuck I'm doing with your commission also, because I'm confused as shit. I don't know. I'm gonna fix your commission at some Yeah, it's everyone's like, God damn, it's rigged. And Nugget's like, yes, it's rigged. <laughs> uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you for giving me such a good stream, you guys. You're so good and pure. <laughs> okay. Uh let's see if there's anybody around, and then I'm gonna go soak my feet, cause they hurt like shit, because it's hot in here. X-ray's doing a thing. Let's go bother X-ray. All right, let's go right. Uh, let's go uh, topple the axi stack into the stream. Yes, the axi stack shall topple in as we always do. Uh, but seriously, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'm gonna play Okami tomorrow, so hopefully no audio issues. And I will see you guys then. Um, you're all the best. Have a good day or night or whatever time it is for you. Have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.